her up. Wait, you try and you've at least put this on, haven't you? Puts you ahead of a lot of other people that just think, oh, long multiplication, can't do that. And I think we all have some sympathy with that feeling. So well done for giving it a go and we'll make mistakes. I'll make mistakes, you'll make mistakes. Mistakes is normal, we'll make mistakes. Okay. What we have to be is comfortable with that. Um, and if anybody's thinking, oh, she did that on purpose, I'd like to pretend that's true. It isn't. Now, I've got my crib sheet here. So whenever you see me looking down here, it's looking to notes. Now, the first thing, at the risk of stating the obvious, is that you must always, always, always check you've written out the question correctly. Uh, 43 times 95. What I'm going to do is do 3 times 5 is 15. So I write a little one there and 5 there. Notice I'm keeping my columns. Well, <laughs> columns are important. 4 times 5 is 20, plus this one is 21. Now I put down a naught. One of the local schools has put down a smarty. Isn't that a nice idea? Put down a smarty. Because um, now what we're doing is doing the um, tens. So 3 times 9 is 27. So a little 2 there, 7 there. 4 times 9 is 36, plus this 2 is 38. Now let's add it up. 5, 8, 10, 4. Now we're going to check the answers. Oh, we got that right. Now, just for the sake of neatness, it's quite handy to put a comma in there to show it's 4,085. Happy so far? Ooh. My com Bear with me. Oh, that's rather nice, isn't it? I do like a change of colour. Should we go pastely? And suddenly it's all looking smaller, isn't it? It's all very odd. So the next one is... Oh. I don't suppose you wanted that, did you? I didn't want that. Come on, Zed. Should we try this one? 26 times... 62. Now we've got two twos and two sixes, so keep an eye on where this pointy thing's going, otherwise it's going to get very confusing. And that's one of the things to note if you're teaching one of the children. If you've got lots of numbers the same and you say, can you see it's two times six? And yeah, but you don't know that they're looking at the same two times six. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're just going to concentrate, I'm going to do it on this bright pink two. We're going to go 6 times 2 is 12, so put the one down there. Now we're going to go 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And we all knew that. 26 times 2 is 52. Now what do we do? Put down the smarty, well done. So this time we're just going to multiply everything by this 6. Got up this one here. 6 times 6 is 36. 2 times 6 is 12, and this 3 is 15. Now, there are lots of ways of doing multiplication. I happen to like this one. But it's a good idea if your mum or your teacher's got a different method. That's quite handy because then you can do it one way and then use a second way to check. So having two ways, obviously it will take twice as long to learn, but it may well make you twice as effective. So don't, don't um, scorn that. Now we're going to add it up. 2 and 0 is 2. 5 and 6 is 11. Carry the 1. 5 and 1 is 6 and 1. Our answer should be 1,612. Now, 74 times 48. Do you know what? 48. Once again, we've got two fours which can cause trouble. So we're going to change things a bit with the colours. Firstly, we're going to multiply this 74 by the 8. 4 times 8 is 32. 7 times 8 is 56. And 3 is 59. 
Now it goes without saying, you've got to know your times tables for this. If you're not sure about the times tables, go to my website, details will be somewhere down there, and get a grid and just keep copying it out, copying it out, copying it out. Gradually you'll learn it. Um, don't test yourself until you do know it, because otherwise what you'll do is you'll keep writing out the wrong thing, and that's what you'll remember, which is very frustrating. I learnt this year, it was the night before Christmas, went all through the house. And you know what, there are some bits where I've just remembered, ooh, I'm not very good at this bit. And in my head, every time I reach it, ooh, I'm not very good at this bit. So that's what I've remembered. So put down the smarty, because now we're multiplying by the tens. Four times four is 16. Seven times four is 28, plus this one is 29. Now we're going to add up the units and the tens. 2, 15, carry the 1. 10, 5, 15, carry the 1, 3. So that's 3, 5, 5, 2. We got there. How are we doing time-wise? I think we'll stop there for a moment and then I'll do the next three. Thank you very much. I shall see you soon.